The fishing area is a way to get a really, really rare huge. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video I want to show you guys all of the different ways to get a huge pet in Pet Simulator 99. There's tons of different ways to get a huge pet in this game. Way more ways than Pet Simulator X. So yeah, we're going to be going through every single different possible way to get a huge pet in this game. Make sure to stay tuned to the end because we got a lot of stuff to get into. Alright, so for the very first thing is obviously hatching huge pets. Pets. Once you reach Rebirth 2, you unlock the ability to hatch a huge pet from your best egg. And as you can see, there's a huge rotation, like every 8 or 12 hours or something, they throw in some different huge pets. But yeah, literally just hatch your final egg. Mine would obviously be egg 63, because I'm in the final area, and this is currently the final egg. But if you don't end up hatching anything from your final egg, you don't end up hatching a huge pet, then we get into this next method and this next method would be trading away your stat pets so you're sitting here hatching all night long you're collecting hundreds of thousands of these stat pets trying to hatch for a huge and if you don't get a huge that's fine because now you have hundreds of thousands of stat pets that you can make into gold and rainbow and then you can also fuse these ninja turtles and these ninja mascots once you make them into rainbow and you can make a whole bunch of of Rainbow Cyborg Dominuses. And then you could go sell these for like 10,000 diamonds each and just do that until you have a huge pet. And then the next way to get diamonds for a huge pet would obviously be just buying the VIP area. This is probably one of the easiest ways if you have a little bit of Robux and you don't really want to grind super hard. And the VIP area, all you have to do is put on Fortune Enchants, but if you don't have that, put on Diamond Enchants. Put on some Diamond Potions if you want. Throw down some Orange to get extra diamonds, throw down a diamond flag, and yeah, you can farm like 150,000 diamonds per hour in the VIP area with all those things together. Or if you don't want to waste a bunch of items and fruits and potions, you could literally just farm the VIP area overnight, and it'll still make you hundreds and hundreds of thousands, and you can buy your first huge pet pretty soon. Okay, so the next way that we're going to be talking about is right down here. We have this little spin the wheel thing. There actually isn't even a huge pet in the spin the wheel right now but a lot of the time this 0.1% chance is the huge propeller cat. It has almost 2,000 exist so quite a few people have actually been lucky enough to get it in the spin the wheel. So yeah you get these free tokens or um, tickets all the time so just every time you do come spin the wheel and you could get this huge propeller cat. Yeah there it is jackpot prize. The next way is the Hugitron machine right behind, but for this, you have to have a ton of exclusives, and they also have to be low value exclusives. You don't want to put in a bunch of, like, OG Astras and Galaxy Dragons into the huge machine, because then you'll be throwing away a lot of value when you could just sell those OG exclusives for as much of a huge all by themselves. So yeah, these are two decent ways, but not the best ways to get a huge huge pet. I'm just going through every single way and you guys can try them all out yourselves. But yeah, next up is the stairway to heaven. So if you guys don't know what the stairway to heaven is, pretty much if you go into the jungle obby over at area 18, you jump down into the acid and hit the home button. Here, actually, I'll just show you. I don't know what I'm being lazy for. Go to the jungle obby in area 18 and then you jump down into the acid and hit the home button at the same time. This is how you get the achievement is it real and you get to the stairway to heaven now if you climbed that stairway to heaven for on average 57 days you could get the huge angel dog because if we go over to this achievement you get the falling down achievement when you jump into the acid press the home button and then it teleports you to the stairway of heaven but you don't get the is it real achievement until you actually get to the end of the stairway of heaven and if you guys did not know the stairway to heaven is a one 
in a million chance to give you the huge angel dog area every time a whole spiral of stairs regenerates above you. And it takes at least five seconds to get up a whole spiral of stairs if you're constantly running. So yeah, let's do the math. One million, it's one in one million, and it takes on average five seconds. So we have five million seconds. Let's divide that by 60, 83,000 minutes. Divide that by 60, 1,388 hours. Divide that by 24, 57.8 days. So almost two months on average of constantly running at max speed for it to actually pop up with the huge angel dog. If you ask me, that's insane. Somebody obviously got extremely lucky and didn't run for the full 57 days that it takes on average. But yeah, the average person is not going to be able to get this unless you literally set tiny task up to just keep running and keep running and keep running forever. And if you disconnect, it doesn't lower your chances any. Literally every time the spiral regenerates, it's a one in a million chance. So yeah, Stairway to Heaven, not really the best way of getting a huge pet, but the reward is really high if you want to sit there and climb the stairs for two months straight on average. I mean, I guess you could have a bunch of accounts doing it at the exact same time, so it would only take like a week on average or a few days. If you really wanted to go crazy and tiny task a bunch of accounts on a bunch of laptops at once, then I guess you could. But yeah, only one of these exists, so it's not going to be easy if you decide to go that route to get a huge pet. Okay, so for the next method, we're going to go over to area 27. This is where you can fish, and there's a chance that you get a huge Poseidon Corgi. So yeah, you throw your fishing pole, the fish bites, and then you just gotta balance this bobber by clicking, and you get some coins, you get some other little loot. Fishing is probably one of the most tedious and boring mini games. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm also pretty sure you have to have the pro fishing rod to get the huge Poseidon Corgi. I don't know what the chances of the huge Poseidon Corgi are, but I heard that the huge Poseidon Corgi could also be one in a million. So yeah, I'm out of here. The fishing area is a way to get a really, really rare huge, because how many huge Poseidon Corgis are there? I I'm pretty sure, yeah, one. It's just as rare as the golden angel dog that you get from the stairway to heaven. So if you want a really high reward, but it's gonna be really tedious and take forever, you can fish or you can climb the stairway to heaven. Those are gonna be the most tedious, but the highest reward if you actually end up getting it. Okay, so for the next area, let's go over to area 30 and go into the fossil dig site. Oh, I accidentally went straight into the teleporter. Yeah, here is where you can get the huge fossil dragon. So the deeper you dig, the bigger rewards that you get. So let me just go down as deep as possible. And yeah, the blocks start getting really hard to break down here, but you start getting a ton of money every time you break something. And the chests are way better down here. So yeah, this is probably my favorite out of all the mini games because it just reminds me of Mining Simulator 1 and 2. Quite a bit of fun. Dang, another chest. But yeah, I'm gonna work on this more on my own time. This is actually one of the more fun mini games because you can literally just AFK it. Fishing, you cannot AFK. The Stairway to Heaven, actually, you can AFK, but fishing, you can't. The Stairway to Heaven's no fun, though. At least mining is a little bit of fun. Let's be real. But yeah, I think you might have to have the pro shovel to actually get the fossil dragon as well, and you have to dig down to the deepest area areas and open the best chest? I'm pretty sure. Don't take my word on that, but I mean, if you have the pro shovel, you're going to be digging all the stuff in the bottom layers a million times faster, so I would just get the pro shovel anyways if you're trying to go for the fossil dragon. Okay, so let's see how many fossil dragons there are. There's gotta be more fossil dragons than angel cats and Poseidon corgis. Okay, so there's four fossil dragons, so it's four times easier to get a huge pet from the mining area opposed to fishing or the stairway of heaven. Hmm, I actually thought that there would be more than that because the mining area is kind of fun and you can literally just dig straight down and like do the whole thing AFK. Okay, so for the next method, we're going to go all the way to area 45 
and this is where the chest rush is. Now, sadly, I actually tried to record this video right before this, and the video kind of got corrupted and didn't work, so I'm re-recording this video. But yeah, in the chest rush, you can do it every two hours, and there's a chance for a huge fire horse. Oh, it just passed by in the possible loot. But yeah, there's tons of other really good loot you can get in here too. You can get some of the best charms in the game which are the things that you can put on huge pets and titanics also my titanics unlocked a fourth charm slot i wonder if these titanics can have five or six charm slots when they're fully max level like imagine a titanic with six royalty charms yeah look here we go royalty charm 40 percent more damage 20 percent more diamonds and moves faster but it can only be applied to huges and titanics dude when i get a royalty charm i'm definitely putting it on one of my titanics instantly but for the chest rush the best strategy is to put on toy bone toy ball squeaky toy a bunch of apples and a bunch of pineapples and pretty much this will make your pets attack a lot faster do a lot more damage and it'll increase your drop chances and then obviously you want to put on some damage potion, some treasure hunter potion, and then you're going to put on a ton of treasure hunter and damage enchants. You pretty much just want to be able to break as many breakables as possible with the highest drop chance possible and that's how you'll get these really good charms and maybe even the huge fire horse so yeah let me teleport back over to the index and let's see how many huge fire horses there are i already know that it's a lot more yeah 93 huge fire horses so it's way easier to get a huge pet from the chest rush opposed to the dig site or fishing or the stairway to heaven so the chest rush is probably the most likely thing to give you a huge pet out of all the mini games but in terms of just general strategies the most guaranteed strategy to give you a huge pet is just hatching eggs and then selling all of the stat pets you get make them into rainbows fuse them into really good rainbow mythicals and then just go sell them until you have enough for a huge pet if you don't hatch a huge pet yourself eventually you'll have so many pets that you can just buy a huge pet with all the stuff you sell and yes i will be having a dog at a titanic series extremely soon in this game there's just been so much other stuff to cover because the game just came out recently and the trading economy is kind of crazy right now so we will be starting dog at a titanic extremely soon and i'll show you guys how to get a titanic for free just like i did in pet simulator x but yeah, this video was about all the different ways to get free huges. If there's anything I missed, comment down below. If I was able to help some of you guys out and you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, comment some ideas for more future videos down below, and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.